So my study was a randomized phase two st uh, study in the setting of papillary kidney cancer. This is a relatively rare disease. It represents about just 10 to 15% of all patients with kidney cancer. Um, and we compared sunitinib as a standard drug to one of three comparator arms, cabozantinib, savolitinib, um, and crizotinib. The SWOG 1500 study used a randomized phase two design um, and basically compared sunitinib against one of three putative MET inhibitors. The study was actually powered to look at each one of the MET inhibitors against sunitinib individually. The primary endpoint was progression-free survival with secondary endpoints of overall survival, response rate, and toxicity. And then of course, we have exploratory endpoints, which we haven't reported yet, which include, for instance, the MET status of patients. And I think that disease biology is really going to be critical. The key finding of SWOG 1500 was really that cabozantinib was superior to sinitinib. Um, this uh, arm, of course, entailed use of an agent that blocks both VEGF and MET, so one can see the potential benefit perhaps if patients have mixed histologies or VEGF-driven disease in addition to MET-driven disease. And there was quite a significant improvement in PFS, uh, nine months with uh, cabozantinib versus 5.5 months with sinitinib therapy. Uh, in addition to this, we saw that there was a significant improvement in response rate, 23 percent with cabozantinib versus just four percent with sinitinib. It was interesting, the savolitinib and crizotinib arms, which we had a lot of hope for, actually closed early, and this was on account of essentially futility in those arms. We saw that there was really almost no impact clinically from those agents, unfortunately, um, so those arms terminated prematurely. You know, the great thing about the SWOG 1500 study is it's one of those clinical trials where you can listen to the study findings, read the publication in The Lancet, and take it right to the clinic in the sense that, you know, I think now cabozantinib really represents a standard of care for patients with advanced papillary kidney cancer. Now, I'm not saying that we're done yet. We still need further research. I do think that studies that look at, for instance, MET-directed therapy are of importance, and I also think that there's some importance in evaluating studies that are looking at uh, combinations of cabozantinib with immunotherapy therapy. And in fact, we're trying to push forward such a design in the Southwest Oncology Group, or SWOG. Uh, this is going to be looking at cabozantinib with or without immune therapy. Uh, so I do think there's forward avenues for the disease, but for the time being, for unselected patients, cabozantinib really represents the standard of care.